everyone, you're listening to FM36, it's sunny outside, I'm feeling wonderful, I hope you do too, and if not, what a night. Today was a fucking mess, you know? You alright, darling? I'm sorry about earlier. I hope it didn't stress you out, but when someone makes a move against you, you know what I have to do. That's my job. I'm a good barkeeper. I can smell scumbags from ten feet away. A bar like mine is no place for filth like them. Well. <laughs> At least you're still with me. And here I am. Talking to you about all the shit that those dirtbags told me about how they fucked up their lives. It's not like I don't see it either. I'm just a bar guy. If you want a drink, I'll get you a drink. I don't want to care about your shit, but you give me no choice. Telling you about you and your filthy lives. My mother used to say, you're only human. I guess it is okay to struggle sometimes. I mean, I can see them. You might not see me, but I see everything about you. You remember the girl with the leather jacket? The one who's selling all that shit to miners. Look where that's gotten her now. I thought she had a chance to get better, but she turned out just like everyone else. Fate has a way of keeping things in order. I guess not, if you think of all these girls being used. Every week, another naive, innocent girl. At least it won't happen again. Did you know, they make this stuff in Canada. Crazy, right? Who could be afraid of someone so pure? Someone as pure as you. Wanting to get rid of you. Wanting to kill you. You're the only good one here. I'm sorry if they couldn't see it, but the only dirt in here was them. They deserve to be treated like that. I lost it. It, it needed to happen, but I, I told you to stay hidden. But you shouldn't have come out, Stacey. 